Hey guys, SK File with the a look at the Catwoman room, which is also my bedroom. This is, I would say, 99% finished is the way I like it, at least at this point in time. I want to get some better uh, uh, light fixture. Uh, I didn't make the bed with the Batman theme because my back is, got to be careful with my back surgery recovery. Um, that's about it for additions. Uh, I have to pick the rug up and put it over there because I have uh, George, the Roomba, under the bed who cleans cleans the room for me. So, let's first start with the doorway. Um, this is a door jam I repainted. And so here you have... Basically, this area is Jim Ballant era. It's either Ballant's art itself or homages to Ballant. And incidentally, all the wood burned um, and both black and white and colored uh, plaques are from Kelly Lynn Stacy out of Arizona. Um, some of them I just bought off eBay. Some were special commissions. Uh, like this was a gift. Christmas gift where they put my AMX next to Selena, uh, Jim Ballant style Catwoman. Um, my sister made my blackout curtains, uh, so there's a black set of black panels behind it. So um, this is prison art. It's amazing. The guy probably took months to do it, and I bought it off eBay. My sister was selling it. It's one of my prized possessions. So he could have money for a commissary. So these are some additions. I mounted this vinyl uh, awesome Catwoman with this double stick Velcro up to 10 pounds I found at Walmart. Really cool stuff. This is a comic book bag. I'm not going to go through all the art, but uh, this area includes uh, Jim Bell and art that I've that I added to. See, I added parts here to the main image. That's another uh, art thing I did. And this one here, found that motorcycle in a magazine. This one's kind of cool because if you look, there's a smaller cat woman, a medium sized cat woman, and then the Large cat woman. Some more art I did. This isn't balanced. This is older silver age. I took that from the comic books. So I wanted to get a third detoff uh, to move these statues into safer place. Um, so I'll be doing that. So this is a cool. Um, dual light that I got at um, Goodwill. I think it's a standard stocked item. I painted it gray to match the paint. Awesome Jim Ballant art. You can find animated examples where she's tickling the guy online. Just another art piece I made. And the other art piece is this one down here. So, I'm not going to go through all the statues, but I try to kind of group them by type and age, roughly. <clears throat> that Jim Ballant one in the back that has a real diamond in the uh, satchel. I found it in one of the girls' bedrooms after they moved out. Diamond earring. So, yeah, this was a commission. Kelly made that for me. Okay, so moving on over here. So this is the Michelle Pfeiffer area. If you remember uh, the previous video, I fixed the flood damage to warping. My oldest daughter fixed the artwork for me. 
And all this is old memorabilia from Batman Returns. It's a nice art print cut from 7-Eleven. This is one of those lenticular ones. It's pretty cool. This is the modern Catwoman, Year of the Villain. But they, he couldn't, I guess, use the exact likeness of Michelle Pfeiffer, but it's pretty close. This has a cool uh, coin in it. That's not all my memorabilia from that, but that's most of it. So then I have the thorn area, Rose and Forest, or Rose Forest, Silver Age Thorn. She was the backup to Lois Lane in the various Lois Lane. That's a CGC 9.8 for a charity I bought. And uh, If you notice, uh, Lois Lane covers always have Superman. Uh, even though it was supposed to be the Liberation uh, time in the 70s, they are still afraid that they couldn't sell a female lead without uh, Superman, so or a male hero. And so uh, this one is actually Superman um, with Rose and Thorn. So this is the custom by Optimus Leo from Figure Realm. Um, he put it on eBay and I won it. And uh, this is a custom by Great White Productions, Ricky Ross in Texas. I commissioned that. In the back there is the Albert Talbot costume shop that Thorne goes to. Well, Rose goes to through a secret passageway and then becomes Thorne. And I put this here because um, this has a story of the Golden Age Flash, and that's actually Thorne. She has a different name because she's a villain. But Robert Conagher, who invented that character for a villain against uh, the Golden Age Flash, later in the 70s reimagined Thorne as this split personality hero. That's that 3D art I made from Who's Who in the DC Universe. I, uh, I basically made it like a bass relief. It's hard to tell, but it, it, it does stick out. This is a custom Lois Lane I got off eBay. And I have this here because there's some cool um, uh, Catwoman art in it. It's from San Diego Comic Con in 95 when it wasn't such a big giant thing. This is a t shirt. Awesome Catwoman from Batman Returns. Other things. So, uh, going down to this, this is an actual prototype pre production for the production model. This is a custom. And over here, I'm going to get the desk going up here. I custom painted the desk one. Basically, anything purple, including all the frames, is my custom paint. So, here we have a vinyl kit. Someone made a custom base for, again, eBay. Um, so, this is uh, stuff from Universal Studios. When they had uh, Batman Catwoman theme park, that's a custom figure. And so if you look at this one and come up here, you will notice that these, there's two of the same, um, are an exact miniature duplicate of this one. Where did I get this one, you might ask? This is awesome. I found it on an obscure artist site. He was commissioned to make 12 for the official licensees for DC. And uh, so these were sent out to each licensee as their basically prototype of how DC wanted Catwoman to look at that point in time. So you notice these things are almost like a laser scan version of this 
this statue. So how did I get this? Well, I bought it. I, I bought it from the artist. It was the last one he had, and so it's literally one of a kind. I don't know if any of the licensees, you know, still have their their versions, but it's so awesome. It's got a cool base, and uh, it's one of my all-time favorites. This one is to Vinyl Modern Representative, and I believe that's either a custom base or something that came with it. So those are two of my most rare statues. I do have some more vinyl kit statues that I uh, statues that I bought off eBay, which is all the same one. And I actually do have an unmade kit, but I'm so bad at, at, at fine painting like the faces. I don't I don't trust myself to do it. So have I forgotten anything? Oh, this area here. So that's a pretty rare ballant poster. And this is Thomas Fleming, my favorite Catwoman artist after Jim. But I mean talk about cool looking. Look at her face. This is one of the original art uh, uh, advertisements when it was about ready to come out in 93. That's a uh, homage to Bruce Tim. So this is a rare one. Um, that's as rare as I believe this one here is very rare. That's a signed one. It's kind of like uh, con art so you can see I love the Thomas Fleming so here I I, uh, I don't know if I colored this or one of the girls did for me one of my daughters so here's another Thomas Fleming this is a cool one uh, you can read the artist's name I can't read it from here but that's a cool action series so here's the uh Homage to Guardian of Gotham, that prestige uh, Elseworlds story. It was two volumes. Excellent read where Batman is bad, I mean really bad, and Catwoman is like Batman. So the Birds of Prey action for you. This is one of the hardest things I ever did because this is a handkerchief to mount it. That's the original first issue of Ballant. These are some art prints. There's the poster in Long Halloween. Here's the interesting. This is Ethan Scrivener, if I'm not right. If I'm not correct. If I'm right. <laughs> this is from Wizard. Basically, I just took all the fold out and everything. Some custom art I did background. So, Wizard 33 will leave you catatonic. That's a cool one. This is another art I did with cutouts. Cutting out the awesome balanced hair is hard. I use a baby curved uh, scissors that you use for trimming baby toenails and fingernails. This, of course, is the famous um, Adam Hughes cover. I mounted that next to it. And then this is an illegal <laughs> uh, German uh, print on photo paper that I found on eBay. Illegal because I'm sure they didn't have a license to use the Guardian of Gotham Catwoman uh, image and put this, this weird background with the sparks. So that's a rare thing. So there you go. There you have it. Hope you liked it. I hope you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 600 soon. And uh, do the notifications. I do dioramas, custom action figures, custom vehicles, and all sorts of interesting stuff. I'm into found objects, nature, natural things. And uh, on DeviantArt, you know, I've been on DeviantArt for so many years that literally thousands of, of uh, pictures. So 
So if you haven't gone Deviant Art SK file, uh, then you're missing out on a lot of stuff. So for Catwoman.